Good morning, good evening, and a good afternoon. This is Nathaniel Kempson Productions here today, and welcome to a tutorial. Yay! Um, a question that I get asked uh, fairly often is, Nathan, how do you make those hills and those valleys? Uh, so I'm going to show you. Uh, I'll just throw down a piece of track first. Yep, that'll do. So I've got a nice wiggly piece of track. And the first thing I'm going to do is go to the scenery options. The um, set terrain to height tool. I'm going to have a paintbrush size of 100 and a hill size of 100. Now, I'm going to start in the middle of this track section here and work my way across. So I'm going to start about here. Just click once and it renders the terrain to that height. And as you can see, that looks a bit silly at the moment. So if I carefully extend it out that way a little bit and that way a little bit. Uh, I thought I'm going to bring it in a bit more there. Now that may have gone in a little bit too far. But we're not going to panic about that. So if we go back down to track height, it looks like the Berlin Wall. So using the smooth option with a paintbrush size of 100, uh, that at 1 and the speed at point 10, we're just going to take the edge right off all the way across like so and then just keep going until it looks a little bit more acceptable takes a little bit of getting used to so I would advise like I have just open up an empty route in the uh, route creator uh, and just spam some stuff down and have a fiddle with it there's no shame in that that's what I had to do when I first got this game in fact I found one of my uh, practice uh, routes the other day okay there we go so yeah, I'll back down to ground level and you can see that looks a bit more acceptable but the tracks disappeared so snap to track width of 10 cut angle about 50 and paintbrush size down to 50 and I'm just gonna drag it along like that where the track is and the editor is going to snap the terrain to the bottom of the track. And there we go. Now, of course, if you wanted to, you say, you look you look at that and you think, I don't like this first bit. That's fine. Paintbrush size back up to 100. And just go back and smooth it out again. You can keep doing this as much as you need to get the look that you're after. I do apologise, actually, if you can hear my computer whirring away. It is incredibly warm in here today. In fact, I'm going to turn my desk fan on because I am so warm. So, smooth it all out, like so, and then back to the snap to track tool. Along like that. Now, as you can see, it's created a kind of miniature cutout kind of valley type thing. Now, that looks okay over this side because it would be cut in slightly. But over here, we don't have anything. So, let's create the other side of our valley over here. Exact same procedure as before. Like so... Now the only problem with doing it with doing it like this, it's much faster. That's a positive. It's much faster than, for example, dragging the terrain up by hand, which I will show you once we've done this section. Uh, but the downside for me personally, because I'm awkward, 
is I tend to grip the mouse really, really hard. So my hand goes achy very, 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 very quickly. Uh, and gets quite painful. So, there we go. Now we've got a valley on the other side. Little bit steep, but it's so it's reasonable. It's it's okay for this for this tutorial. So now if we extend this track along a little bit more, about that much. Uh, the other way of doing it, you've got this option here, which I'm sure you all know does that. You have this one, which basically does the same sort of thing as this option here. You've got all the settings down here, so you can just sort of drag it around like this. And it little brings it up and whatever. Which is useful in some cases. Or you've got this one, which does it down. And this one... I think just does it sort of randomly as you can see it's basically this tool but much much faster as you can see there and it only brings it up to a certain height so you've got here that's set at 20 so if I put that to 100 it would set that straight up to 100 like that it's basically the same option what we did here but the edges aren't quite as steep and also as you can see you click it and it doesn't just smack it straight up to that height. It does it gradually, as you can see there. It builds it up nice and slowly. So you could, if you wanted to, use those options as well. So, for example, here I shall just do a little example. This is how I used to do them before I found the uh, set height tool. I just used to clicky, clicky, clicky like this. On basically all of my original Railworks routes, this is how I used to do the hills and the valleys and stuff like that. And then I would go back over and smooth it all out. Like so, which again is an acceptable way of doing it. And then track height, like that. So again, it's made a nice big cutout. Um, it's made that look a bit daft. Let's uh, let's get rid of that, shall we? Smooth that. Oops. Smooth that out. It helps you have the right tool selected. And there we go. So, both methods do the exact same thing. I prefer using this method because, you, as you can see, it looks much more sort of spaced out than... Uh, than the first method, um, than the second method, sorry. So I'll just do another example of the second method, but I'll do it a little bit neater. So I want these to be pick my size of 200, there we go, and just click and drag it up. The good thing about using this particular method is that, um, with all the lines, as you can see, of the paintbrush, you can see all the strange markings it leaves behind on the terrain. Um, sometimes, when smoothed out, those markings stay behind slightly. So as you can see, they, they stay behind a little bit if you don't smooth it out too much. You see there, that's looking very similar to the stuff behind it using a completely different tool and a totally different uh, method. Just smooth all the nasty uh, lumps and bumps out on the lines and then snap track to terrain, terrain to track and there we go. So both methods as you can see work just as good as each other. Uh, but let's say you wanted to get rid of this strange ridge here. Not a problem. Just smooth it out. And snap terrain to, to the track. And that has lowered it a little bit. But if you want it rid of completely, you can use a set terrain tool. And set that 
to ground height and then say paintbrush size 50 just drag it like that underneath the track over to one side slightly like that and that brings it away from the track slightly and then you can come back with the snap to terrain snap to track just to make sure and then come back along with oops, with the smooth tool and just smooth that edge out and then come back with the terrain snap tool and there you go it's still there it's lowered a little bit and you could completely get rid of it if you really wanted to just sort of well not not quite as aggressive as that but you know paintbrush size 10 just along there like that but of course you do it a little bit neater than I am like so and then that more or less more or less gets rid of it you can see there it's practically gone but if you wanted that even smoother you can still smaller paintbrush size just to do finer detailing like that and you can see there you barely even notice there's a, a gradient change there and that's basically how I do the big hills of course Uh, the method I use is the snap terrain to height tool. Uh, that's my preferred method of doing it. It's it's much faster. It's much quicker. Um, you can know you can cover quite a lot of ground in a very small space of time. You know, in about half an hour, you could do a good few a good few miles of uh, basic hill work. And as you can see, chuck some trees on it and some. Uh, textures and whatnot and it won't look too shoddy um, so that's how I do it um, there's many other ways of doing it of course I've showed you the two main ways that I usually do it the snap terrain to height tool and the click and drag option um, if you guys uh, want me to do any more tutorials of this sort of style uh, let me know uh, and I will see what I can do. So thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.